So first and foremost, I'd like to say that this is my personal opinion and I'm entitled to my own personal opinion. And I do have a healthcare background. I study medicine and I've worked with numerous doctors. I've worked in numerous hospitals and I know the back end of healthcare and I also am very familiar with the front end, the clinical the clinical side of it. And I've also worked in research as well. And I honestly think that you should take this as a grain of salt and really do your research, come to your own conclusions in terms with this specific topic and just have an open mind. Hi guys, my name is Karina and today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on Western medicine. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I honestly think that we have come a very, very long way in research and in science and technology as far as all advances of technology and the medical field. And I think it's amazing. Like, I love that stuff. I eat it up. Like, I'm such a nerd when it comes to science and technology and medicine and health and everything in between. And I think it is truly amazing work. But the problem is, I feel like people are just so dependent on Western medicine that they have become so disconnected with their own bodies, their intuition, and their surroundings and nature and what the universe provides for us in order to thrive and live to our fullest. Now, I do feel like there is a place for Western medicine, of course, but only in ER situations. I honestly think that we abuse Western medicine and it shouldn't be used for everyday maintenance or for preventative medicine. I honestly think it should just be used in emergency situations. And I don't think that surgery is absolutely necessary only if it's a life or death situation because our bodies are naturally formed or created to heal ourselves. Our bodies are miracles, honestly, if you think about it. And they are just so smart and so knowledgeable within all the systems. But the problem is when you disconnect yourself from your body, when you don't listen to your body because our bodies give off signs, you don't give it time to heal itself and you're not taking the time to properly put in nutrients that your body needs in order for it to heal. I honestly think that we need to go back to the basics. Natural medicine, plant medicine, connecting with the earth, holistic alternative medicine, because at the end of the day, it's a mind, body, soul thing. It's a whole system. It's just not one thing. It depends heavily on the whole lifestyle, all of the stressors, all of your surroundings, all of what's going on in the environment where you're living, the location, everything has a huge impact on your health and how your body thrives. And back in the day, all they used was like herbal medicine and you know, what they could find. And I just don't get why people wouldn't want to use natural forms of medicine that are provided from Mother Earth for us to use. And honestly, it's like nutrition, diet, lifestyle, whatever you wanna call it, weighs very heavily on our health, regardless of whether you wanna admit that or not. I mean, I've had doctors flat out tell me like, nutrition has nothing to do with how healthy you are. But honestly, like if you're eating McDonald's every single day, how is that healthy? How is that gonna make you feel better? I mean, the studies are out there. Freaking watch that documentary of the guy eating mcdonald's for like 30 days or whatever and see how sick and disgusted he is with himself and how much of a traumatic change his body went through i think it's called super size me i mean honestly the research is out there you can do your own research i mean this is not new facts and the other thing is i don't like how big pharma is heavily influenced on our medical system and 
it is actually really really sad so once upon a time way back in the day i was actually studying to be a pharmacist and i was becoming a doctor of pharmacy and i absolutely hated it i hated everything it stood for i had always been interested in alternative holistic medicine but in reasons i'm not going to get into i was kind of forced into the western part of it and i refused to learn that kind of stuff and just the stuff that i saw on the front end and the stuff that i just heard about about um pharmaceutical companies and how they do just very sneaky things i was just not into that stuff and i felt like such a hypocrite so i ended up not going that path and honestly it's like one of the best decisions that i've ever made because i just can't even deal with the fact that i would be prescribing all of these medications that i personally would never take like i'm not a pill popper in any means i would be on the floor dying before i even take anything so the fact that i was going down that route was just just not resonating with me and i honestly don't think it's necessary to pop pills for the rest of your life obviously if you're not in balance and your body is going through an imbalanced state in order to bring it back to equilibrium okay maybe you might have to take a certain amount of herbal supplements or a certain amount of western pharmaceutical drugs to get back into line um, if you do have a very severe case but you don't need to be on it for the rest of your life there are other components that you have to incorporate into your lifestyle in order for you to change and to adapt and create a lifestyle to where you can thrive without having to depend on these pharmaceutical drugs which a are just hella expensive b like don't even get me started on insurance companies oh my god i can't even okay anyways moving on and what it really comes down to is just research do your own research be your own doctor i think that's so important because at the end of the day you're the only one who knows your lifestyle the best your stressors the best and your body the best so be more intuitive and listen listen to your surroundings listen to that inner gut feeling that's why we have it that's why they always say listen to your gut and i've honestly have had a lot of imbalances in my lifetime and i've healed myself through natural means and i absolutely refuse to go the western medicine route I mean, I went to Western medical doctors where they've told me that I had to be on prescription medication for the rest of my life and that I would basically have to have surgery and do all this crazy stuff if I didn't get better. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Because not even that, but pharmaceutical drugs have huge side effects. It not only is supposed to tame the issue that you are dealing with, but it also causes so many other symptoms that make even a bigger issue or make a whole nother issue up here. And the problem is that Western medicine only really targets symptoms. It doesn't go to the root cause. All of these traditional medicine practices like Ayurveda, Chinese traditional Chinese medicine or macrobiotics or you know Native American medicine or you know the list goes on and on really go to the root cause of an issue and that's what you really need to resolve and that is what's really going to help you become better or get better and honestly it's like why would you even want to take drugs for the rest of your life i mean maybe it gives you an amazing high but personally i don't find that very um attractive or like satisfying i'd rather just like smoke pot and get high <laughs> i mean i'm just saying i wouldn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on medication i just rather spend my money on more important things and put my money towards more important things than just stupid things that are not gonna really solve the root cause or go to the source of the problem and when you think about it diseases or illnesses are all just imbalances in the body everything can be balanced or come back to equilibrium if you really study the body and study the system or go to a practitioner a traditional 
holistic practitioner that knows what they're doing. And another thing is all disease really starts in the gut. Our gut is our second brain. That's why they always say like the brain and the gut are connected because it's super important. If your gut is not thriving, the rest of your body is not gonna thrive. So that's why gut health is super important and you should really start at your gut and figure out are you digesting food properly? Are you intaking great nutrients? Are you taking probiotics? Are you taking prebiotics? Are you eating fermented foods? Are you eating your vegetables, your greens, you know, your fruits? Are you getting good healthy fat in? Are you getting good healthy protein in? I mean, it all just really stems down to the nutrients and really how you're digesting your food. Like Ayurveda says, your health really depicts on how you digest your food. So again, I mean, the tools are out there and I feel like, especially in this day and age that we are living in, the technology advances that we have, we have so many amazing resources. Um, the shift between the masculine and the feminine has changed so drastically as far as this new Aquarian age where people are more becoming more intuitive, becoming more of their own advocates and just really questioning what society has always said or just the norms of what has always been or what people have always been doing. And I think that's amazing because constantly I'm questioning and I wanna know explanations and I wanna know why and I, know, I wanna know like, why can't you do it this way? And I think that's really important to go against rather than follow. Be your own trendsetter. And with this comes the shift of people being more aware of alternative holistic medicine. And I think it's amazing. I think it's so great. Like I can't wait to see like what the future holds as far as this push and demand for more alternative holistic medicine. And herbal medicine. I think it's just so fascinating and so amazing. And it gets me so excited because it's such a passion of mine. So again, at the end of the day, do your research. It's out there and listen to your body. So that is my little spiel on Western medicine. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastical day. Health and peace.